Traveling to Mars isn't just about fuel, food, and distance. It's about survival in one of the most hostile environments imaginable. And one of the biggest threats astronauts will face on the journey is radiation. Without Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere to protect them, they'll be exposed to cosmic rays and solar storms, particles moving at near light speed that can damage cells, DNA, and organs over time. NASA and private space companies are taking this threat seriously. Several solutions are being tested. One approach is to shield the spacecraft itself using layered materials like polyethylene, hydrogen-rich plastics, and even water, which is excellent at absorbing radiation. The idea is to either line the inner walls of the crew module or create a dedicated storm shelter, a small shielded area astronauts can retreat to during solar flare events. Another cutting-edge solution involves magnetic shielding, generating artificial magnetic fields around the ship to deflect radiation, similar to Earth's own magnetosphere. While promising in theory, this tech is still in development and not yet ready for missions launching in the 2030s. So how much space does a Mars crew actually need? NASA's estimates suggest that for a crew of four to six astronauts, at least 25 to 30 cubic meters per person is required for long-duration missions. That includes space for life support, supplies, exercise, and a radiation safe zone. Some proposed designs have entire inner modules surrounded by water tanks or fuel reservoirs for added shielding, effectively turning the spacecraft's structure into protection. Could the entire ship be covered in radiation shielding? Technically, yes, but it adds mass, and mass means cost. Every extra kilogram of shielding must be launched from Earth or sourced in space, so engineers are carefully balancing protection with efficiency. Strategic shielding, targeted safe rooms, and careful trajectory planning, avoiding periods of high solar activity, are all part of the equation. In the end, protecting astronauts from radiation won't be about one perfect solution. It'll be a combination of smart engineering, smart planning, and real-time adaptability. Because on the way to Mars, the deadliest thing you never see is the one that matters most.